tonight is night one of the challenge, I guess. So school officially starts for me in a week and I am determined to kind of get my sleeping schedule back on track. So I'm gonna try to go to bed around 10 during this week and wake up around seven. It's 10, 18 right now, as you guys just saw. I know that's a little behind schedule, but that's okay. I'm also gonna practice some healthy habits this week. So I did a little bit of yoga in order to prepare me for bed and I didn't watch TV, which is really good, except I watched a really sad movie called About Time and oh my gosh, let me tell you, such a sad movie. Like you guys should totally watch it, I would recommend. My new morning routine I'm gonna show you tomorrow. It includes reading and meditating, so just stick around till tomorrow to see my morning routine. I'm just fighting the urge to just turn on the Vampire Diaries because I'm literally almost to the end of an episode, but I know if I watch it, it's going to keep me up. This morning, I'm going to do meditation, and then I'm going to listen to I Am Affirmations in 432 um, hertz this thing on tiktok where it was like a, someone's a morning routine and that's what they did so i'm going to do that and then i want to read 10 pages of my book annie lawn and ava jewels both recommended this book atomic habits a little more than halfway in the books so and i'm kind of sad about that because it's such a good book like you guys should totally go read it go buy it I gotta make this fast because my mom is in a Zoom call meeting kind of thing. I feel like I got a lot of stuff done today because I got up at 7 and then I was able to work out by 8 and then I did like a, like a 30 minute hit full body workout. Oh my gosh, I was so tired. It was by Mad Fit. Afterwards, I came inside and I showered. I was out of the shower by 9 and then by like 9.15, I was making my smoothie and I just got started on my homework. I feel like I got a bunch of stuff done. Alright guys, if I'm being honest right now, it is almost 12 p.m. and I am still not in bed. I don't think I'm going to be waking up at 7 a.m., but I'm not working out, so I'll let myself sleep in until 8. So on Thursday, I'm going to be picking up supplies from school, and then I'm also hopefully going to be getting some driving practice in this week, so I will vlog that and put that in. <laughs> I just wanted to say I was so proud of myself. I woke up at 8 and I didn't break my social media fast until 10. And usually I try not to go on my phone between the hours of like 10 and like 9.45ish. So that's just when I have it set. But I was really proud that I was able to go two hours in the morning without my phone. Alright guys, my mom just brought home the chair. I'm gonna clear all the stuff out and then fill some containers with like pens and pencils and stuff. Oh, they like me now. Go ahead, wipe me down. She don't doubt a man. Cause he ain't lock it down. So here is the final overview of my desk. I think I just have a few plants over there. All of these little containers filled with, filled with highlighters. And then there's pens in here. There's ballpoint and felt tip. And a ruler. And then all my pencils. And then some post-its and erasers. And then in my pencil case, I have scissors, tape, glue, and more post-its. Let's go. Take me on this journey home. I don't wanna wait no. Guys, I'm really proud. I totally redeemed myself today. So it's not even 10 o'clock and I'm already almost ready for bed. I just filled up my water, picking out my workout clothes, and then I just have to pick out the workout I'm gonna do tomorrow. All right, guys, so today at Target, I also got this book called They Wish They Were And it looks us. really good. It's like a murder mystery book. I'm wearing a face mask in order to prepare for my school pictures tomorrow, which seems weird. Like, Paige, you're not going back to school. Why are you taking school pictures? Honestly, I don't even know. Like, space makes me sad. So I feel like the lighting is actually really good here and it makes my hair look so blonde at the bottom. So I just finished doing this really great leg workout. I did not feel like working out today, but I just did a little 30 minute leg workout and I just got it out of the way, got it done. I want to make a little to-do list of everything I have to do today. So these paper mite pens are like my favorite. Uh, this is my list for today. So I got to clean my dresser, just like the top part, um, pick an outfit for the first day of school clean my closet, shower, edit, and maybe do Duolingo, even though I have not really been doing it, but that's okay. Also, so I'm about to do a bunch of homework, but this is my last day I have to do homework. Oh, so happy because a push has just been kicking my butt recently. Like, um, but I have a really good teacher this year, same teacher I had last year, so I think it'll be good. I just paused to make some much needed coffee before I start all of that 
I start all of that. Some things that I do at night that are really important is one, always making sure that before bed, like an hour before bed, I just like don't use my phone. And then I also pick out my workout outfit, fill my water bottle and pick out the workout video I'm gonna be doing the next day. Because if I don't have the video picked out or something like that, then I'm gonna keep delaying and delaying. And that's because nine times out of 10, you're not gonna feel motivated. And actually got that little quote from a YouTuber, Jazz Tyler. And I feel like that's so true. And she was saying it's really all about discipline, which I agree with. I was reading Atomic Habits. And it's also about like setting up your environment for success, like getting the stuff out the night before or like crossing off the days I work out just really helps me. And then also before bed, I always put on like sleepy like hand lotion from Bath and Body Works, which I don't even know if it works, but it's like kind of like my little cue. Like once I put the hand lotion on, then I know it's time for me to go to sleep. While I'm brushing my teeth, I kind of multitask and I um, I unmake my bed and get ready for me to get into it. And now I'm just in that strict routine now and I'm ready to sleep. Motivation is not the key, it's commitment, it's discipline, it's setting up your environment for success. All right guys, so I just grabbed out all of my folders and labeled them for the different classes. Like example, this one is Algebra 2, Spanish 3, etc. I did that with all of them. My little um, schedule basically. I wanted to have a list right where my desk is. And it's a foggy day, I call 